Welcome to Quick Tips here at ChiefTutor.com. Today's lesson we're going to be installing nano doors or those big bifolding door systems into Chief Architect. How to do it easily. Actually, the first step you probably want to take is cruise on over to ChiefTutor.com. You can go to any search and just type in Chief Tutor and go to ChiefTutor.com. That's this website. And you want to download some of my sweet symbols. So we'll go to the symbols page on page one. We'll just click on it. Make sure you enter in your passcode. Once the passcodes enter, scroll on down to a collection of symbols right here called the download the current uh, content here at chieftutor.com. And this is for chief users of X3 and up to the current version. So if you have X4, X5, X9, or the upcoming X10 that's coming out, it downloads these nano doors that are already pre-made into the system. Then when you want to install it, you simply use the doorway tool and you make it the size you want. For instance, let's double click this and make this um, 15 feet. And so we have the doorway, and if we look at it in the 3D model, again, it's just a box with a doorway opening. And you can remove the casing or leave the casing if you like. It's totally up to you. So then you want to go over, once you've installed my packet of symbols, and just simply type in Nana. And we can type in, uh, and it should pop up the latest Nana doors that I've built. So why don't we use a six set, because here I have a six set panel of the Nana doors. And here it shows open. And I'm going to go ahead and install that one. And let's say we put it, oh, well, we're going to put it right here. We're also going to take the six panel closed version. <clears throat> so I'm going to kind of scroll through here. Yeah, the six panel closed section. And we'll use that as well. And we're going to take this symbol and we can uh, shrink it and move it as needed. So basically, I'm going to just put it in its place by grabbing the metal, middle ha handle and drag it in its place and then I'm going to shrink it the size of my opening. I'm going to do the same for this guy. I'm going to select him one time, come in here and drag him and put him about there. <clears throat> now let's go back to the 3D mode and we can see we have installed our symbols. Uh, the first thing I might want to do is use a regular window to pick up the textures. So I could pick up the texture uh, eyedropper of the glass and apply it to that. I can also pick up the texture of the white trim of the existing and click it in there. I can also select it and notice that this one's too large for the opening. So I can open it up and I can change its height here. So I'm going to change it to 80 for our standard height there. And we do see the one that is closed, but we don't see the one that's open. So if I go back to my plan, I could select it, open it up and find out what layer it's on. It's on fixtures open, which is great because now I can go to my layers that turn layers on and off and go to my 3D view. <clears throat> and I want to make sure my fixtures open is now turned on and my fixtures interior I can turn off. That would be the door we just manipulated. And I'm going to select this guy and I'm going to just drag him down to 80 to get him kind of the same size. So here it shows my model with the door open and then again I can just quickly switch between the two and show that the door closed. So then you could take a picture for your client so they know it's closed and then again, flipping the, uh, the layers on and off, you can show it then as open. And then one last step you can do so it shows up in the window and door schedule. is So when you make your window schedule, usually the doorway won't show up in a schedule because what's a doorway, right? So if you were to click it and then open it up the doorway, you can go to um, its label and you can specify a specific label. Like, let's call it that, and then let's say Nana Door, or whatever label you want to send, and click OK. Then when I come back here and I do make my door schedule, I can go into my door schedule, and I can plop it there. And notice it didn't pick up the door at all, and that's because it hasn't been set to do that yet. So just go into your door specifications, and you want to come down here and say, make sure it picks up doorways. And then all of a sudden it will pick up the doorway and label it for you and put it in the schedule. And so again, on this view, we want to do the same thing. We want to move down here and maybe show the fixture open, locked on, and the other layer interior turned off. So that way when we're looking at the 2D model, we can clearly show our 
customers the nanodoors folding one way or the other. Also in the nanodoor library there's also the individual one and I believe I called it La Cantina. I'm just going to start off with La Cantina. There it is. So now I can build the doors one piece at a time if need be. Because if you want to show one door slightly closed and the other one slightly opening, you can manipulate that quite easily and just follow the same kind of steps and put it right into the doorway. So that's been messing with Nanodoors here at ChiefTutor.com for the quick tip of the week. Thanks for watching.